Hi there, Chris Sheedy here from NQ Drilling. Today I'll be showing you how to access the water bore database so you can get a better understanding on water bores that are drilled in your area. These include depths, yields, water quality, materials used and the geology. So first of all open up your internet browser and in the search bar type in Queensland Globe. Click on the link up top and it should come up to an overlay page. So while it loads, uh, this database is only for Queensland, other states are yet to follow. On the left hand side there is a, a layer taskbar. So we want to go up to the top right hand corner to add layers. Click on the plus button and we want to find groundwater. Under inland waters, click on the down arrow bar and it should come up with groundwater. Press the checkbox and it should put the overlay on the main map. In the search function bar, type in the address you want to have a look at. And for information purposes, we're just going to type in a random number. So on the main page, you'll see a, a map and an overlay with all the RN registered bores uh, coming in a, a blue outline with a number attached to it as well. You can move around on the main, main bar uh, and look at where your house is in relation to the bores. To look at the registered bores or the bore logs, the top right hand corner there is a blue spanner bar. Click on that and click on the identifier button. This should be highlighted now. Highlight your mouse over the blue circle of the RN number you want to get the info from and click on it. It will bring up a whole range of menus on the left hand side. The main one we want to look at is the registered water bore column, DNRM and private. Click on the RN number and it should come up with the information bar. Down the bottom on the bore report there should be a blue highlighted link bar. Click on that and it should bring up all the information in relation to that bore. So on the bore report page that's been registered through the Department of Natural Resources, it comes up as a sub-artesian bore, the registered number, the latitude and longitude of the bore, the driller's name, the driller's company, and the drill method they used to drill the bore with. In this case, it was drilled with rotary air. If we scroll down to the middle of the page, It'll come up with the casing details, uh, so what the drill actually put down the bore. So we can see here from 0 to 5 metres is the minimum construction of grout around the outside of the casing he has to use. 5 to 12 metres with cuttings and other fill. Gravel packing from 12 metres to 20.6 metres. And it shows here also the casing details as well. So the total bore is 20.6 20, 20 metres and the slotted casing where the wall enters in the bore hole is set from 17.5 metres to 20.5 metres. Over on the right hand side has the gravel size, the aperture size of the slots were cut into the casing, 
and the wall thickness of the casing. Scroll down further and we can come into the strata or the geology that the driller had drilled into. And we can see here from the start of the hole, drilling clays, coming into some brown sandy clays between 3 and 11 metres, 11 to 12 metres, coming into coarse gravel. Now see this little asterisk beside the strata or the geology? This means where the driller had intersected majority of the water. So in this case, from 11 to 12 metres, if you come over to this top line here, he intersected 0.5 litres per second of water in that part of the geology. As he drilled further down, he drilled into some fine unconsolid unconsolidated ground, and in that part came up with a lot of water in 6 litres a second. We also have here the quality of the water, which come up fresh, and we also have the static water level as well, which is 4.2 metres from surface. There is a whole range of pump tests and other water analysis columns here, but for the minimum construction of bores, these don't need to be filled out. Down the bottom, we have our date drilled, the total depth, the pH of the bore, and also the conductivity of the bore. So you can go to any of these bore logs and click on them and have a look at the data. We'll also go over to another layer we can put on. Which here we're going to put on elevation. So check the box and again in the main screen it should put on the elevation lines. Down the bottom right hand corner, you can zoom out or zoom in. And as we drag ourselves over the map, we can see the contour lines, and in this case, Mount Louisa, from 150 metres all the way down to 10 metres. Well, I hope this has been uh, helpful for you. Um, any questions? queries, please don't hesitate to give me a call, 1300 70 20 75.